team. Coincidence seeing you guys here. But Martin, we've been waiting in that bush for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, forget it, Martin. Not on your life. Oh, come on, Jenny. Why won't you go out with me? What do other guys have that I don't? Where to start? Other guys aren't messy, their clothes aren't wrinkled, they don't have stains on stains on stains. Oh, and they don't hang out with freaks. Hey! Uh, great. So I'll pick you up at eight? Okay, Martin. Hypothetically, if you were gonna pick me up tonight, what would you pick me up in? <laughs> Case closed! I don't know what I'd do if you ever started dating my brother. Is it possible to faint from embarrassment? Why can't Jenny look past all my flaws and see the real me? Yeah, you're as suave as anyone. Yes! Free chocolate! Maybe it's my lucky day after all. No! Oh. Hey! You have been chosen. You have been chosen? Whatever happened to excuse me or even out of my way? Can we please go get some lunch now? If I don't get some food soon, I'm gonna start eating my human shell. Mm. Next. That'll be five bucks. Huh? Maybe that guy who bought me stuck it in my pocket. Weird. He forgot to write anything on it. <coughs> oh, right. Uh, sorry. Uh, I didn't order dessert. It's on the house, Martin. Next. So, where's my dessert? Somewhere between not happening and dream on. That'll be five bucks. Oh. Oh, if I ever meet the dude who invented trigonometry, he's getting a serious nuggie. <gasps> to convert degrees to radians, you have to multiply by pi and divide by 180. Really? Oh, thanks. <laughs> you totally saved me from a migraine. Uh, who exactly are you? Uh, do you work for NASA or something? Nope. Just someone who wants to help a fellow student. Uh, hey, you, you forgot your keys. I don't know what you're talking about, Martin. They must be yours. Whoa! Now this is what I call an awesome ride! Cool! It's even got my initials on it! Martin? <laughs> is this your car? It's got my name on it. Don't try fooling me, Martin. I can see through your schemes from a mile away. How about a lift home? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Free ice cream, a sports car, help with my math? Oh, this is all too weird. This letter has to be part of it. So I'm gonna read you if it takes all night. No piece of paper is gonna get the best of Martin Mystery. Martin Mystery, clear. Mystery. Meet beneath the clock at midnight. 
Signed, The Bones. Acolyte mystery? The Bones? What is this? Hmm, only one way to find out. And I've only got five minutes! something. Martin? Ah! Jared! Um, hi. Uh, I'm just, uh, out for a walk. Did, Did you get, get a letter? letter? Yes. yes! So what's with all the free stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what kind of car did you get? <gasps> you know what? This is stupid. I've got early practice tomorrow. Free dessert or not, I'm going to bed. <laughs> what is this place? Maybe they can answer that. Whoa! Electrokinesis! Cool! Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are fellow students of Torrington Academy. You two have been chosen as prospects. To become members of The Bones. A venerable secret society with almost limitless power. Yeah, nice try, guys. You must have mistaken me for some sucker who'd fall for this kind of lameness. <laughs> Telekinesis, too! Oh, you guys have it all! Does that come with membership? <laughs> All this, and much more. Whoa, sweet! Sign me up! Yeah, I'm in. Not yet. The two of you must pass an initiation to see if you have what it takes to become a member of the Bones. And once a member, you are a member forever. We will contact you when it is time. say you're not cool, but you're not cool. I'm gonna be eating my lunch over here from now on, so feel free to eat yours somewhere else. Oh, hey, Billy. Aren't you eating lunch with Martin? No, he's acting kind of weird today. Huh, he looks like the same old Martin to me. <laughs> Martin, I was just wondering, you know, if you're <laughs> free tonight. For you, sure. I'll be at your place at eight. Mm. Later, sweet cheeks. Ah! Okay, check that. This calls for an intervention. There is no way I'm letting Martin date Jenny. Martin, listen to me, mister. If you think I'm gonna sit by while you get all lovey-dovey with Jenny, you're totally mistaken. Do not interfere with the process, or else. What is going on here? It is time. You will be tested. Succeed, and limitless power will be yours. Fail, and you will know only darkness. What do I have to do? Make your way through the labyrinth. When you reach the other side, you will be one of us, a true bonesman. That's it? Huh. I've had tougher quarterback sacks. Uh, 
Diana. Isn't this breaking and entering? If you know a better way to figure out what's happening to Martin, I'm all ears. P.U. Smells like boy. Mmm, pizza. Uh, that pizzeria went out of business two years ago. <sighs> he left his U-watch behind. He never leaves his U-watch behind. Why would someone scan a blank piece of paper? Meet beneath the clock at midnight. Who are the bones? The bones, an ancient and power-hungry cult linked to a number of strange disappearances. Legend says they're ruled by a monster that grants superhuman powers, but at the cost of your free will. Free will? Uh, that's important, right? Uh, yeah. Martin's got himself wrapped up in something bad this time. Diana, I was expecting Agent Mystery. Uh, well, we're uh, apartment watching for him. Never mind. You two will do fine. A student from your school was just reported missing. That's Jared. He's been hanging out with Martin. He's not the only one missing. There's a whole bunch of disappearances over the years. Could they all be linked to the bones? The bones? Uh, fill you in later, Mom. We need to find Martin fast. I knew Martin borrowed my MP3 player. What's better looking, the car or my reflection? <gasps> there he is. That must be one of them. Come on. These bone guys are snatching people right off campus. There has to be a secret tunnel or something around here. Didn't that note on Martin's computer say something about the clock tower? There it is! Good work, junior agent. <laughs> okay, so all I have to do is make it through, and then I'm a full bonesman with the powers and the cool hood and everything, right? Uh, quick question. What if I'm not found worthy? I see. Fair enough. Martin! Wait! Don't do it! These guys are serious trouble! They brainwashed you! Whoa! Hold it! Getting creepy eyes was not part of the deal. There is no going back. You will take the test. Uh, uh no thanks. Uh, I forgot to study. Martin, catch! <laughs> you watch activated. You guys are finished! <laughs> I'll take the test together! <sighs> At least we're away from those guys. Ah! On second thought, maybe they weren't so bad after all. These runes must have something to do with finding the way out of here. For example, there has to be something about this creepy symbol that makes it different from all the others. How can you tell? All the symbols down here are creepy. Well, there are levels of creepiness. Uh, for example, this symbol isn't nearly as creepy as this. Horrific monster! I 
think we lost it. This thing is too powerful to fight. Unless we become powerful too. Billy, I need to get to the end of the maze. And I've got a feeling these ruins are the key. It's so dark down here I can hardly see them. Dark? The ruins in the chamber were glowing. Watch activated. Eye cutter selected. levitation thing. It would have made it easier to get out of bed on weekends. But how did you resist the creature's mind control? Oh, I just focused on something so confusing that the creature couldn't take over my mind. What was that? Trigonometry. <laughs> it's done, right? <laughs> Diana! Uh, what happened? Uh, did you defeat the creature? Oh, you should have seen it. Martin used the creature's own powers against it. Of course! That's where the creature got its powers! What? The creature needed servants to bring victims into the maze. The more people it absorbed, the more powerful it got. And the more powerful it got, the more it needed people to be lured into the maze. And that's why it started a cult. <gasps> uh, question? Is the ground shaking or is that just my headache? Uh, the maze is collapsing! This way! <laughs> What's going on? You don't remember? Uh, we woke up in this weird tunnel just as it was falling apart. Well, it's obvious. You must have all been sleepwalking. And you should really get back to your room before anybody notices you're missing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I should get to bed, too. I've got another date with Jenny tomorrow. Just when I thought the nightmare was over. I'm telling you, Di, it's like he's a totally different person. Come on, Jenny, we're talking about Martin here. Diana! I'm dating your brother, and that's that. He's a new man, and just my type. Now, if he'd just get here already. Uh, hey, Jenny. <sighs> Oh, quick, put this on. We're gonna be late for the all-night zombie gore fest at the multiplex. All-night zombie fest? No, all-night zombie gore fest. <laughs> oh, and how much money do you have on you? I'm running a little short, so you'll need to pony up for popcorn tonight. Or I guess I could just get it off the floor like I usually do. <laughs> Ow! Ugh, forget it! I knew this couldn't last! If I ever see your face again, it'll be too soon! Okay, so uh, how about next Tuesday, then? <laughs> Wednesday? 
Thursday? <laughs> this is what I call a happy ending. Uh, is that a no? Say, Diana, it's the hard work of students like you that make our yearly science fair such a success. <laughs> Participating is my pleasure, sir. Igneous rock formations are so fascinating. <laughs> Hi, Principal Pebbleton. Hi, Principal Pebbleton. Hi, Principal Pebbleton. Hello, girls. Huh? Oh, miss. <laughs> hmm. I've never seen that cheerleader before. That's just, uh, uh, Parpa, the new foreign exchange student from Bavaria. Yeah, me, Parpa, from uh, Bavaria. Oh, well, in that case, I hope you're enjoying your time here. Oh, yeah, Parpa-like. Good. Well, have a nice day, girls. <laughs> hmm. Trying to get us both kicked out of school? Uh, what are you wearing that goofy outfit for anyway? I figured it was the best way to get close to the cheerleaders. Ugh. You gotta admit, it's pretty ingenious. <sighs> That's it! I've had enough of you and your ridiculous girl-catching schemes! From now on, you're on your own! Fine by me. I can totally take care of myself anyway. The center! It's coming from that tree. I don't see a way in. Thanks, Jav. Martin Mystery, clear. Java the Caveman, clear. Diana Lombard, clear. Everyone. Hi, Billy. Uh, hey, what's with the skirt, Marty? It got me this close to the cheerleading squad and their pom-poms. Oh, of course, I get it. Why didn't I think of that? I'm definitely gonna try that at the next office party. Uh, boys, could we please just get to the mission already?
So, as you can see, your time will be divided into training, studying, and... Oh. You might want to wear smocks next time. Ah, good afternoon, troops. Today, you'll be going to Norway to investigate the sighting of a woman frozen in an iceberg. <gasps> a frozen woman, eh? Could be a cave person like Java, or an icicle-spitting babe like Frigida of the Ice Woman comics. <laughs> Billy will make sure you have everything you need, like appropriate clothing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> This is the life! Uh, I can't wait to try some of that Norwegian food job, like the whale blubber they're so famous for. Mmm, uh. blubber. Oh, and seal intestines stuffed with tuna eyes and squid balls. Stop! No more talk about food, okay? But I was just getting to the weird stuff. Huh. There it is! Now, Martin, behave yourself, because I'm not going to bail you out if you get in trouble. Martin, did you hear me? Huh. <gasps> then what happened? Boat could not be steered. An iceberg was coming quickly. A woman's face in ice. So haunting. Before we see anything else, we crash. <sighs> well, there's no frozen woman in here now, that's for sure. Maybe it was just a mermaid on a winter holiday. <sighs> <sighs> Better than okay. I'm stoked! I just found a snow angel! A snow angel? You've got to be joking. <laughs> I gotta admit, it does look like a snow angel, but what's it doing in this iceberg? Uh. Oh, pretty. Oh, check it out. It's ethereal. Quit it! Hey, what if the woman in the ice was some kind of fallen angel? Fallen angel? The personification of the wickedness in the world. According to Paranormal Monthly, they're not that uncommon. Okay. Before we jump to any crazy conclusions, let's send the feather to Billy for analysis. In the meantime, we can see what's happening in town. Woohoo! <laughs> Blubber Burgers, here we come! Yum! Now this is what I call a cool mission. A mysterious angel babe, a spooky fishing town, and some seriously tasty squid burgers. Ugh. Broken heart. Like I just wish we could link it all together, you know, figure out the connection. Like love doesn't forgive. Hello? Expressing feelings of anxiety over here? Uh, excuse me, where are you two going? You can't go in there, Martin, you're too young. And it's for sailors only. Whatever, but don't count on me to save your hide if you get in trouble. <laughs> sailors only. Neanderthals only is more like it. Hmm. <laughs> 
for such a small town. One minute I'm eating a squid burger, the next I'm wearing this dorky raincoat. Ooh, maybe I have some kind of food poisoning. Boy, for somebody who can take care of himself, you sure need a lot of help. Hmm? Whoa! Oh. you. Come on, I think we can catch- No! Leave the creature be. She is pure evil. Stop meddling in things you don't understand. Stay away! I don't know what's freakier, the shrieking creature or that crazy old man. Speaking of freaky, check this out. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to scare you. Anyway, according to my analysis, not only is your feather over 50 years old, but it contains both human and bird DNA. So are creatures half human, half bird? Oh man, what if she's a phoenix? Okay, Marty, I think you've shared enough theories for one day. Oh, and one more thing. The feather contained traces of quartz and orthoclase. Quartz and orthoclase. Put the two together and you've got granite. Hmm, <sighs> science fair project. Hmm. So, all we have to do is find the nearest granite cliff, and we'll probably find her. Exactly. Well, good luck. Come on, oh. let's go before she strikes again. Oh, looks like we're riding the Java Express. It looks just like your dorm room, Martin. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> uh -oh. Wow, she's so beautiful. Okay, so she's pretty. Just don't forget what she's capable of. <gasps> hey, look at this. Love Eternal, Rolf. Rolf? Hey, isn't that the same name our bird lady said before? That scary man, Java no like. Has uh, anyone ever told you you have lovely what? hair? What are you doing? And your robe, it's so elegant. Uh, Get back here! Uh, uh, didn't mean to wake you from your beauty sleep. Uh, not that you need beauty sleep on account of you're so beautiful. Put a sock oh. in it and run already! Right. Ah! Oh. That was a close one. I almost got a date. Ah! 
You just had to wake her up with your lame pickup lines. You're hopeless. No, this can't be happening again. or something. Wait a minute. You were brainwashed by the singing. Oh. Fire up the legend X, Martin. You mm -hmm. want activated. Legend X selected. Now type in half bird, half woman. The legend of the mythological siren. Ooh, a siren is even cooler than a phoenix and hotter. Keep reading. In Greek mythology, a half-bird, half-woman lured sailors to destruction by the sweetness of her song. The Greek hero Odysseus escaped the danger by having himself tied securely to a mast and stopping the ears of his crew with wax. That explains why I wasn't affected by the siren. She only targets men! But why did she wait until now to return? Sven and Olaf! When their ship hit the iceberg, they freed her! Yeah, but how did she get stuck in the ice in the first place? Rolf! Rolf! Java, you're a genius! Rolf is the crazy man from town. The photo was taken around 50 years ago. And the feather we found is around 50 years old. We better go find Rolf quickly and get some answers. Only problem is, how do we get off this ice? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. You know, since the siren is part bird of prey, she probably only hunts at night. It's Norway, doofus. Days are short. I knew that. I was just testing it. Yeah, right. Here comes our ticket to ride. Get ready for some Arctic surfing. Yeah! Now let's stop her before it's too late. place. It's a disaster. How are we supposed to find Rolf in all this rubble? <laughs> this way. Good boy, Joff. Down here. To be as far away from that creature as possible. Yeah. She will never find me. Never! But she's wrecking the entire town looking for you. Yeah, a lot of people are in danger. You gotta tell us what happened. It was 50 years ago, and I was in love with the siren. But I was young and soon grew tired of her. When I left her, she vowed to destroy me, so I froze her in a block of ice in my fishing vessel and left her on an iceberg. But now she's back. So the siren isn't the monster. It's you! Yeah, but we still have to stop her. Otherwise, every sailor in Norway is going to be fish bait, and Rolf is going to help us. Huh? How? Remember Odysseus? Huh? Huh? Great huh? idea, bro.
real feminine, sis. Even more beautiful than the siren song. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, gross! What's the big idea? We can't have you getting hypnotized again, can we? Okay, Rolf, now! <sighs> Let me go! This will never work! We don't have all day, Rolf. <sighs> I'm the man before the mast that plows the raging sea. And on this simple subject, will you, will you please enlighten me? Oh, it isn't working! Keep trying! Common sailors we are called. Come, tell me the reason why. Ha! I knew my women catching schemes were ingenious. She's getting away! Not if I can help it. Job, you get Rolf. I'll take down the bird lady. Excellent work, you three. This is the center's first chance to study the behavioral habits of a siren up close. Hmm. I'm sorry I was so insensitive. It was wrong. You know, I could totally help you get over this guy. Nice try, Martin. But we have enough male creatures in our interspecies dating program. Her heart will be mended in no time. This turns out better than the last one. Tale of the Enchanted Keys! Team, only you're a little foggy on the rules and don't realize that it's played in the gym with bigger balls in a basket. Talk about a long way to go for a joke. A journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. So what's going on? Uh, I'm trying to write a short story, but I can't get past the first line. It was a dark and stormy night. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna fail writing class. If you want, I can tell your teacher that you're the least creative person I know. Maybe I can score you some pity points. <laughs> 
not the least creative person, Mr. <sighs> brother person <sighs> standing there. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Java. What you got there? This big, Martin. Really big. Wow. Evan Prince is coming to Torrington. Evan Prince, the writer? No, Evan Prince, the master. Evan Prince, the legend. He's the greatest writer of the 21st century. I've read all of his novels. Revenge of the Mangled Monster, Swarm of the Giant Bees. <laughs> Some master. All he does is write spooky books. Paranormal extravaganzas, I believe you mean. No, spooky books, I believe I mean. Yeah, you're just jealous. <sighs> Me think he great writer. You've read his novels? Oh, books on tape. Me love Curse of the Cave People. Very accurate. He's doing a book signing at the Torrington Bookshop tonight. You guys want to come? Me uh, in. Me out. I've got enough paranormal extravagances in my life without Evan Prince. Come on, it'll be fun. Plus, if you meet a real author, maybe you'll get inspired to write something that doesn't totally stink. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, Martin, but I'll pass. Hmm. Wow, I'm going to meet Evan Prince. <laughs> Someone dressed up like William the Crazed Hamster from The Rodent of Romania. Oh, and look, there's the Ghost Queen from The Haunted Castle. Oh, I should have come in costume. Curse of the Cake People, right? Great costume. Oh, thanks. I definitely should have come in costume. Now look, Job, when we get to Evan Prince, don't start fawning. What mean fawning? You know, gushing, carrying on, crying, making a fool of yourself. Fawning bad. Got it. Hi. <gasps> Evan Prince, you're Evan Prince! <laughs> Martin, fawning bad, remember? Did you have something you wanted me to sign? I love your writing. I love your books. I love everything about you. I want to be you. You're Evan Prince. I'm talking to Evan Prince. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll start with you. Nice costume, by the way. That one I hear. I am so excited. I want to be a writer just like you. I know everything about you. Nobody knows everything about me. Oh, sure I do. You only eat crunchy food. You only wear white socks. Your last few novels were written on an old typewriter. I think that's so cool. So retro. What else do you know about my typewriter? <laughs> oh, I know that you don't go anywhere without it. That's so true. I've got it right here. Would you like to see it? Really? I can see it? Wow. You like it, don't you? Yes, I do. Then say it. Say that you like it, and it's yours. Is it Java or him a little creepy? I like your typewriter and would give anything to own it. Then consider yourself <laughs> its new owner. Now please, take it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Uh, Mr. Prince, uh, I can't take your typewriter. Yes, yes, you can, and you will. Um, mm, I, I insist. Well, okay then, thanks. Come on, Java. Goodbye, young man, uh, and good luck. You're gonna need it. Oh, I can't wait to get back to school so I can start my first story. I've got Evan Prince's typewriter. Sorry, Di, but ever since I got this typewriter from Evan Prince, I've been a writing machine. This is the third story I've finished since last night. Three stories? Since last night? Uh-huh. I wrote Curse of the Mad Marionette, Rise of the Zombie Dog, and now this, mm. my greatest work, Attack of the Crazy Circus Clowns. The center. Over there. Down. Martin! Uh, buddy! 
Uh, hey, Billy. Mom, big guy. We came as soon as we could. So where are we off to this time? The town of Torrington. The town of Torrington? But that's Boringville. We know. We go to school there. Hmm. Are you aware that people in town were attacked last night by flying creatures of some kind? Flying creatures? Several witnesses reported seeing them silhouetted against the moon, but we don't have a positive ID on what type of creatures they were. A number of residents are also reported missing. Do we know exactly where the attack took place? The Torrington Bookshop. <sighs> uh, Java and I were there last night. That's where the book signing was. Evan Prince was autographing books. Really? Evan Prince? <gasps> I love his work. Not you, too. He's writing the sequel to The Screaming Harpy of Hoboken. I can't wait. Java, hope he okay. There's only one way to find out. Someone have big fight. Hello? Anyone here? Hello, Mr. Prince? Are you still here somewhere? What this? It looks like... Say it. Slime. Yes! Ugh. Let's hit it with a slime scan and see what we come up with. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Analysis complete. Huh, 60% water, 12% protein, 10% sugars, fats, salts, and amino acids. This stuff is royal jelly. Royal jelly? It's a substance that comes from the glands inside the heads of worker bees. They feed it to bee larvae who might grow to become queen bees. Where did you learn so much about royal jelly? From Evan Prince's book, Swarm of the Giant Bees, of course. My mistake. For a moment, I thought you may have paid attention during science class. Huh? Whoa, look at that. Look like sword. That's no sword. It's a giant stinger. Guys, are you seeing a pattern here? Flying creatures, royal jelly giant stinger? It's just like Swarm the Giant Bees. Somehow that story has come to life. Martin, you need to take a deep cleansing breath. <sighs> Will my cleansing breath get the buzzing out of my ears? It, it come from over there. Why am I always the one who has to open the scary doors? Well, I do it, but I'm holding the chair. <sighs> Oh, I could have sworn the buzzing was coming from inside the locker. Uh, far from over it! I gotta call mom. Ah, Agent Mystery. How things go at the bookstore? Really, really not so good. Diana was kidnapped by a giant bee. I think it came from Swarm of the Giant Bees. Something brought the bees from that story to life. As much as it pains me to do this, I must agree with you. Really? I, I mean, uh, yes, uh, good. We did a global check. Right after Prince published his last book, Revenge of the Sea Creatures, there was an attack on a cruise ship by, you got it, sea creatures. At first, the center didn't make the connection, but now... I hit the giant bee with the virtual tracer. Java and I are going after Diana. Wait a second. Do you know if Prince has ever written anything about clowns, marionettes, or zombie dogs? Uh, why do you ask? Because those monsters are on the loose in Torrington Academy right now. Look. <laughs> Mom, Prince didn't write those stories. I did, on the typewriter that he gave me. That's it. The typewriter. 
typewriter is somehow the key. Send Java back to Torrington and have him hold off the monsters until you and Diana can get there. Me? Alone? You're right, Java. I'll send Billy to help you. <sighs> Why me no feel safer? Giant bees are sloppier than I am. I know these glasses. Oh, you saved me. Thank goodness. Mr. Prince, what's going on? Diana, say hello to Evan Prince. He's the one who created the giant bees. Oh, really? Ow! Uh, hello. It wasn't me. It was my typewriter. Uh, don't you mean my typewriter? Is it the one I used to create an insane marionette, a zombie dog, and a malevolent clown? I should have warned you, but I was so happy to be free of it. You see, the typewriter is cursed. It turns its owner into an incredible writer. But unfortunately, all the stories that are written on it come true. So why'd you give it to me? You admired it. That's how it works. Once someone says that they like it, it becomes theirs. Huh. Fickle little machine, isn't it? Yes, but, uh, but I couldn't take living with it anymore. And then you came along and admired the typewriter. Now it's your problem. Ah! on the giant piece so we could rescue Camille? Mm-hmm. Page 368. <laughs> Only problem? It's stunning us, too. You want activated. Grab onto me. Oh, wait a second. What about the other people trapped in the honeycomb? We'll call Mom and have her send a team here. Stat! Who are you two? We'll explain later. Now hold tight. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, use heavier foot. up? You're sick. I don't know how much longer this is gonna work for. Oh, I think I know what we have to do. Use the typewriter to create a new story, something that'll get rid of these monsters. Martin's the only one who can write it. It's his typewriter now. No sweat. I'm a lean, mean, literary machine. Oh, where's the typewriter? Back in my room. <laughs> Okay, start typing. 
It was a dark and stormy night. What? That's a good opening line. No offense, Mr. Prince, but I think I better handle the heavy story lifting around here. And then a swirling vortex opened beneath the three monsters, sucking them to another time and place. Do you think it worked? It worked! Monster's gone! It's not going to work! That typewriter is evil! It has a mind of its own! Well, so do I! Martin, this is no time to joke! Our heroes are trapped on the roof, as the monsters cause big trouble! Uh, huh? Martin? Not now, Billy! I didn't get to the part about how we get past the... Big trouble? Ah, big trouble no begin to cover it! Uh, bad doll! Bad doll! Ah! <laughs> Come on, follow me! <laughs> okay, young man, enough's enough. Let the master handle this. I'm going to write about a spaceship that comes to Earth and destroys the monsters. That's the best the master can come up with? Please! Run, hide, run, and hide! <laughs> That's it, give me the typewriter! No! <laughs> you know, I really like that typewriter and I would love to have it right now! <laughs> Diana, you just became the new owner of the typewriter! <laughs> The Giant Monster-Eating Exploding Tree of Torrington Academy. Hmm, good title. All right, put that typewriter down on the table. I'm gonna hit it with the eye cutter and get rid of it forever. Sorry, I think you're forgetting something. It's my typewriter now, and I still have a writing assignment to finish. Actually, it's the center's typewriter now. Billy told me about how you defeated the monsters. Nice work, Agent Lombard. Uh, thanks, Mom. Also, you'll be happy to know that we rescued the rest of the people from the honeycombs. What about Prince? He'll be doing a bit of community service, teaching writing at the center's alien enrichment school. Oh, that's great! So, how about letting me keep the typewriter for one last story, Diana's dashing knight on horseback! Sorry, no can do. We're gonna put this thing in the archives for safekeeping. Oh, there goes my literary career. I really wanted to write a series of stories. I was gonna call it Martin Mystery. You know, tell about all of our classic cases. Uh, no one would ever believe it. Hmm. 